I tend to prefer recipes with earthier tones. I'm what you'd call a soot man. Osto Porto, Babu. Osto Porto. Oh, yes, put it in there. Oh, it smells positively ripe. Give it a moment. Oh, yep. Oh, here it comes. Oh, yes, yes, I'm getting some notes of nutmeg and filth on this one. Well done, Will Master. Tor Ospo, Arrobo Costo do Laporato. The only fitting needed for the holidays is fitting them in the garbage. Ustoro Coputorto. Why? You've no reason to be cheerful. Tell me one good thing that happened this year. What are you thinking? A pillow fight? With the quietest spike? I don't follow. Posto corbo gardo, usto purgoto cargo. To defecate in? No, uh, no, usto bordigaro. I'm confused. Usto bargo do to, usto da burda, busto carturato usto. Hmm. I suppose a false gesture of kindness could set them up for a delicious fall. Uh, uh, Exquisite will, master. It is through charity that they shall know despair, and that there is no reason for the season. I don't have to chip in on paying for it, do I? Then go ahead. Ustarabo. someone in the flesh for months. Can I touch you? Because of the Rona? Oh, that's naughty. Are you being nice to us? So we just get to draft? Straight up? Hello and welcome to 
welcome to the Quest for the Jank Lord Holiday Special, Commander Legends Draft. I am Winston D. Raft, Temporal Explorer. Commentating with me today, the Swamp Beast. Coming to us all the way from a Star Wars fan film that nobody has ever seen. Yes, I'm sure it's top-notch, Beastie. Today, we'll be following the draft from John's seat. John is known for being the least rubbish drafter of this bunch, and he has a pension for drafting five-color decks, so this should be interesting. Yeah, good point. It's worth noting that none of the players here today have opened a single pack of Legends yet. This format is entirely new for them. So we fully expect one of you armchair draft pros to tell us how John should have drafted in the comments. No! Let's get underway with pack number one. John is ready. <laughs> Yes. Oh yes, he's unsheathing the first pack. Let's see what's in there. Hmm. A few pirate options in blue and red. Hmm, a solid colorless option there. Something to remember with Commander Legends. Each player will take two cards from every pack. I imagine that annoyed Altisaur be quite annoying. <laughs> solid. Solid. <laughs> yes, quite right, Beastie. And the Orzhov, advocist. John does enjoy a good pillow fort. Oh, our first rare is the body of knowledge. A creature whose entire body is made of knowledge. Oh my word. There's our first legend. Yerlach of the Scorch Thrash. John could really keep his options open with... Oh my word. That excited him. But those two legendaries don't work together. Oh, he's taking Yerlach. Oh. Having second thoughts. He's taking. No, he's having third thoughts. <laughs> yes. Alright, here's Chosen Yerlock as his first card from this pack. He is now able to take three cards. Oh, and he takes. <laughs> a very solid first pack for John. Pack number two, let's see. Oh, he's excited. He has found his namesake. However, it conflicts with the colors of your lock. Will he succumb to greed? Lust? We shall find out. Fleshbag Marauder, very solid card in the format. A three for one. Really. And he goes with the impulsive pilferer. <coughs> we did not see, but we are being told that he took a army of the dead tide. Yes. All right. So John is hedging a bit there. Let's see what path he continues to take. It will be interesting. It will be interesting, yes. All right. It would appear John's fin in front of the camera, but we are told he took an elvish doomsayer and a natural reclamation, further cementing him into black and green. He considers. He goes with the dragon, the beefy dragon, and, and the piper. Yes, surprising indeed. Oh, that's... That's quite profound. Yes, you might notice the camera going out of focus every once in a while. This operation is jank after all. The 
Wild Heart is a strong choice. Mana Sink for later in the game and a Vow of Lightning. The vows are, are a sort of removal spell, really. But maybe better. Who can say? Oh, yes, you're right, you beautiful lumpy beast. All right, he goes for an axe and the blade brand. <coughs> yes, these packs really come back around in these four player games. John further submits himself into red with the rummaging goblin and a safe hero's blade pick. <coughs> well, that's really up to him. Ah, the staunch. Throne Guard, Colorless, Vigilance, a big old butt, Champion of the Flame. So far, I believe John has one equipment and one aura, so we'll see if he continues down this path. Those will do. If John is going down the yellow, oh my. White appears to be open, however, John is fairly strongly in the Yurlock camp. <sighs> Let's settle in for pack number two. La! This one's opening. Just as easy as the last. Good. We'll see if there's any bomb in this pack that will further cement John into your luck. La Udo. Yes. <laughs> One of the cutest cards ever printed, I say. <laughs> well, we'll see what he does next, won't we? <laughs> oh, the meteor go oh my. This okay. There's a lot going on here. The phoenix is red. Golem might be... Oh, he takes the phoenix. All right. It's got Cascade, which is pretty incredible. And it looks like he will go with the Farhaven Elf. Perfect. Ramping, fixing. He's well on his way to a very solid three-color deck. He's looking around now for that next pack. And a solvent has come back. A ghastly demise. Yes, I agree. Never go wrong with them. This pack has so much removal. It's wonderful. I might agree, but I might not. He takes the debaser. All right. Imagine encoring that demon. And burning anger. Interesting, interesting. John is continually digging his way further into that Yurlock deck. Yes. Yes, indeed. Demise. And he goes with the Moss Diamond. Very safe, solid choice. Pick number two. Oh, the Haunted Cloak. Interesting. I do wonder about that being a nice finisher in this format. Really get some stuff through there, you know. Yeah, Card draw, dead touch. Oh, the ember claw familiar. <clears throat> John continues to have a multitude of options here. Will he take another diamond? 
certainly works towards consistency. And he's going to go with the familiar and the adept. All right. It is needy. It is needy. Well, I'm not sure if I'm offended or, well, flattered. We will notice that Boros appears to be, mm, well, more open than anything else. All right, John has chosen the boarding party and more fixing with the expanse. I really think he's got a solid deck working here. I think he'll need to work on picking up a few threats along the way. There's a bit more fixing, albeit slow. And the oracle flyer that might draw him a few cards. And there's all those red cards coming back around again. John really is taking advantage of the seat he's sitting in. I agree. Quite disturbing. That victimize might come in handy. I um I don't know what you're saying there. John has chosen two cards that will draw him some cards. And obviously he'll take those two cards in his colors. White continues to be wide open. And wow, two black cards. Freebies there, very nice. John is in a great spot. Let's see what he can finish out his Yurlock deck with in this last pack. Fixing his little costume there, mm, yes. We've seen a good deal of pirates today. Hopefully someone's running that deck. Yes. Oh, there's a mythic white, unfortunately. Oh, my. And two more very, very nice three-color legendaries, but unfortunately, all out of John's current path. But, oh. Oh, he's taking them anyways. I believe, I believe we could call that a hate draft. Someone will be sad not to see those. Very curious what the other drafters are up to. No one's drafting white, apparently. <laughs> Perhaps someone will read the signal. <laughs> Flesh bag, there you are. Breaches, okay. Oh, and two removal spells in John's colors. Does he go with the removal or the threat of the dinosaur? And oh, the law seeker stone and the removal. Interesting, interesting. John might be very confident in some of those green cards coming back around. Maybe even that ghastly demise. John's really checking off all the boxes. Ramp, fixing, removal, and a few threats along the way. Blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. These feel like solid picks. One to give the monarch, offer some protection. The other to once again fix those three colors, which will be very important in John's deck. There's another invoker. I say, John, oh, there's a murder that, that might come in handy. Blah. What will he do? He goes with the vow 
and the murder. One pseudo removal, one removal. Blah. John goes with the dragon and the searchlight. More RAM for him there. Maybe an opportunity to politic and give someone else a manner. Oh, and he's fixing his hair. Very good. All right, he's going with the champion and the ghastly demise. He might be considering putting those vows on the champion. Very interesting, very interesting. Coming down to the last few packs where there won't be too many hard choices. We'll see if those end up making John's final deck. <laughs> A couple solid threats there. Or he could pick up... He picks up another Doomsayer, all right. Blah. All right. John goes with the assassin over the giant and supernatural stamina, which feels like a nice utility card. Oh, and it's two cards that he can play. Blah. Wow, that skeleton is a real solid pickup. Recursive blocker. I think he's excited for what's about to happen. And thus, we end our coverage of today's draft. I'm going to phase myself into a time that's less rubbish. <laughs> Chin up, good luck, and Godspeed. That was amazing. Yeah! I can't wait to partner the Prismatic Piper with the Prismatic Piper. Thanks for the draft, Wheelmaster. Ordi Cocundo. Ordi Cocundo. What's that? Ordi Cocundo. What should we do? Ordi Cocundo. Ordi Cocundo. Ordi did you just set us up? There you are. <laughs> Hi, demon. What do you plot in secret? We're just, uh, doing a draft. <laughs> and how did you escape? The wheelmaster, he... Did something nice for you when you took advantage of it. Are... are we in trouble? Oh yes. For this malfeasance you shall be ended, then resurrected, then ended again. <coughs> but not before you play a game with those draft decks of yours. Might as well, right? I'm sick of playing for nothing. What's the point if we're just gonna get tortured anyways? Who said you'd be playing for nothing? The winner shall receive no torture whatsoever. Okay, sweet. You're going down, nerds. Excellent. Let the game begin. Tapping, drawing per turn. Ooh, this is the first turn. You can't ooh on the first turn. But it gave me a turn one play, so I'm gonna ooh. Ugh. Universal solvent. Oh, pass nice. to Daniel. That's gonna be like a clutch play in ten turns. Fifteen <laughs> turns. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I would have preferred not having that come out right away, just because everybody knows it exists now. Mountain. Uh, pass to Joe. Nice. The planes. Pass to John. 
<clears throat> Mount, uh, swamp. Sanitarium skeleton. Pass the turn. Untap, draw. Play a forest and tap two for Elvish Visionary. When it enters the battlefield, I get to draw a card. It's a 1-1. One, one. Pass the Daniel. All right. Little cantrip. Drawing. Island. <laughs> I'm going to pay two to cast a fire diamond, which comes into play tapped. It gives me a red mana. Nice. Good Joe. All right. Draw. I will play a forest and pass to you, John. I'm also going to play a forest. And I'm going to move to combat. And I'm going to swing at Tim. I will just take one then. First blood, baby. Past right. Untap, draw. Play a forest. And three for burnished heart. Oh. And then I'll swing good. one at John. <laughs> I felt that coming. <laughs> the blood feud has been settled. Sounds good. It'll pass the Daniel. I'm gonna untap. Draw. An island. And I'm gonna pay four to cast one of my partner commander. Z breaches. Brazen Plundera. Ahoy, you mad mad goblin monkey. Joseph. I will untap, draw. I will play a planes and tap three since you guys are doing stuff. I want to do stuff too. I will play the Slith Ascendant and I will pass to you, John. Did you just collect all the white cards when nobody else wanted them, Joe? Or Yes. Like Yes. Smart. Untap. Draw. Gonna play a mountain. And then I'm going to pay three. For a Far Haven Elf, when it enters the battlefield, search my library for a basic land card, put it on the battlefield, tap, then shuffle my library. Uh, and then I will be passing the turn after that. Drawing. I'll play an island. I'll swing at Joe with my burnished heart. All right, no blocks. Then I'll pay three. Sacrifice burnished heart and look for some lands. That will be the end of my turn, so Daniel, you can go. Sweet. Untap. Upkeep draw. You guys are just fishing for all sorts of lands over there. I am on three lands on turn three with a 1-1 one, one flyer. <laughs> An island. And I will tap three to cast a commander sphere. And then I will tap Three, using the commander's sphere to cast a pirate's cutlass. When it enters the battlefield, attach it to target pirate I control. My commander's a pirate. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus one. So it is now now a five four with menace. Dang. Yes. I'm gonna move to combat. Three, four, five, six. Okay. Tim can just annihilate it next turn with his solvent. So. I'm uh, just like preordaining that you're gonna do that, so I'm gonna get pre-vengeance and swing at you for five, ten minutes. Or, or you could just not attack me, and maybe I won't <laughs> do that. You could attack Joe. He doesn't I have, have blocker. He's not. He's not gonna use his solvent on that anyway. <laughs> oh, cause cause John's gonna bust out something nasty. <laughs> All right. So what am I? What am I taking? Five. That's commander damage, baby. When that happens, uh, you are going to exile the top card of your library, and I may play it. Oh! So that's just bye-bye. Pass to Joe. I needed that land, Daniel. You will pay. <laughs> Forest. Uh, combat. Daniel's wide open. Yeah, but he's going to come after me next. Well, yeah, then you should, you should get him pre-vengeance. <laughs> I'll swing one at you, Daniel. All Welcome right. To the fight. <laughs> All right, I'll take one. Go to 39. And when I do damage, 
the Slith Ascendant will get a counter. Second main phase, I will pay three for another Slith Ascendant. <laughs> Sweet. And I will pass the turn to you, John. Once more, the Slith will rule the galaxy. Untap. Draw. Play a swamp for a turn. John's going to give me a target for my un universal solvent, I think, right? Yep. Danny, I have I have some fun for you here. Oh, good. <laughs> One, two, and three. I'm going to cast Vow of Lightning on your bro. That's pretty awesome. And then I can't attack you or Planeswalker as you control. Sorry, that's Jengiz. <laughs> I tell you what. I still think there's juicier targets for that uh, solvent. Oh, I know. I'm not going to use it. <laughs> Pass the turn. Not not yet. Untap. Draw. Consider this. You're taking away not only one, but two cards. You just made John waste his turn if you use the bomb on your table against Dan's commander. You get rid of Dan's commander and you time walk John. Yeah, but then I waste my turn too. I'm just trying to negate the seven damage. <laughs> so I'm going to pay four for Sisse's ring. It taps for two wastes. And then I'll tap three for Gift of Paradise. Um, when Gift of Paradise enchants a land, I gain three life. And that land will now tap for two mana of, of one color. Tim has so much stinking mana right now. So I, much. I, I need it I know, for this stuff. True, you so what, what's your life total, Tim? I'm at 37 right now. I will pass to Daniel. All right, untap, upkeep, draw, mountain. That's fun. It's gonna be a bomb. Six, two cast, boarding party, and cascade. Yo, oh boy. Nice. Yeah, so I'm gonna cascade. I've never cascaded before. So here we go. Exile until I hit an island permanent with less, less CMC. Oh, oh wow! Whoa. That would have been a nice drought. Trove Tracker. Nice. And it has Encore. It has Encore. Um, these go the bottom. Okay. In a random order. I random believe. order. Okay. Um, great. Then I'm gonna move to combat. I'm gonna swing with my beefed up breeches. Thanks, John. I'm gonna swing uh, three, four, five, six, seven at Tim Menace, and six at Joe. Threat acquired. I'm at 30 with 12 commander damage. Oof. Uh, I have no blocks. I will take six and go to 32. All right, and then you both will do your, exile the top card of your library, and I will probably not be able to play it. Scab Goliath. Marble Diamond. All right, well. Exile. Can you play Very it? Cool. It's, it's six cost. Uh, I'm not quite there. <laughs> you could have, though, with your nine stinking mana. All right, I will pass the turn. I'm tap. Draw. I will play a planes. I'm going to move to combat and swing both of these at you, Daniel. Sounds good. So that's three total. All right. Upon damage, the second guy will get a counter and this guy will get a counter. Second main for a four, I will cast my commander. Insert ham sandwich joke. I will pass the turn. Untap, draw, we'll tap four. For a commander. Does it get more metal than this? Say that four times fast. Your lock of the scorch thrash. 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 Easy. And yeah, pass the turn. Drawing. Uh, we will pay two, three, four, five. For my commander, Emoti Celebrant of Bounty. Look at all those arms. It has Cascade, 
So we're gonna reveal, flip, exile. Scholar of the Stars. Ooh. And when it enters a battlefield, if I control an artifact, which I do, I get to draw a card. I'll pay two and three Ooh. for a gift of paradise. <laughs> gonna go on this island I gain three life I'm up to 33 and then I'm going to pass I'm tapping and pray that Daniel sends that stupid pirate elsewhere uh, to me is what you're wishing for Draw. I'm hoping that's the case <laughs> we'll see we'll see mountain just depends on how much Dan likes his commander Ooh, a threat. keep the pressure on I'm gonna move to combat I'm gonna swing Seven at Tim with breaches, and six at Joe. I have no blocks. And I'll block Daniel's commander with these two guys, Scholar of the Stars and the Elvish Visionary. They'll get smacked with the first strike. I'll take six and go to 24. No, not 24, 26, excuse me. And then if you could exile your top card. A forest. Have you played a land? Yes. <laughs> of course. I'm gonna tap five and sacrifice Trove Tracker to cast Dargo, the Shipwrecker. So I'm discounting it by two with the Trove Tracker. And when Trove Tracker dies, I'm gonna draw a card. Yep. And then second main as well, I guess. I'm gonna pay three to cast the Pennon Blade. There's the blade, just chilling for now. And I will pass the turn. Untap. Oofta. Upkeep. <laughs> Draw. Dan is the threat. Yep. So, we have a turn cycle here. I can do something right now if I have a guarantee from you, John, that you will not attack me. For the turn? For the turn. Yeah. Until my next turn. Yeah, cool. All right. I'm going to pay five for Iona's Judgment and exile um, your commander. All right. All right, I got rid of one of the things. Thank you. Can well you done. help get rid of another, Tim? Um, potentially. Not Dargo. I will then play my land for turn, which will be a forest. And Grummany Pumbler. Quite right. I will swing two at you, Daniel, in the air. All right, I'll take two. Go to 34. That's my turn. I will pass. Untap. Someone missed a trigger. Girl. So I will swing... You just have that dude out, right? The Naga? Yeah. I'll just swing four at you. Okay, I'll take four. I'm at 29. Uh, I will pay one and tap Yearly Boy to add three mana to all of our pools. <gasps> You're welcome. <laughs> so kind. Okay, so then I will play pay two of that mana for a moss diamond and the red mana and this black mana will turn into a Kedis oh, Emberclaw shit. familiar and see I didn't play that because I felt like that would be attacking Joe sure so anyway I'm a good person so then I will pass the turn and mana empties from our pools. Hold, hold on, in response to you passing the turn, I'll spend my three mana that you gave me to cast Crushing Vines and get rid of Daniel's Peon Blade. <laughs> Peon, Pen and Pen Blade. Okay, there it goes. The Pen and Blade is no more. And I spent that mana and won't be pinged for damage. You're good. I'm gonna take three. I will take three as well. And go down to 31. 23. My turn starts, I untap. Draw. So for six mana, I'm gonna cast Interpret the Signs. Scry three, then reveal the top card of your library, draw cards equal to that card's converted mana cost. 
But before that happens, I'm going to cascade. Oh, the value. So that does not work, unfortunately, because he's seven. Seer's Lantern. And then I get to scry three. Put one on the bottom. And then these will go like this. And then I'll reveal the top card of my library, which is Forceful Denial. It costs five mana, so I'll drive five, draw five cards. <sighs> So then you've got a little counter spell action happening too, huh? That sucks. I think I'll just sacrifice a forest or discard a forest and pass. Keep draw. I think I can please multiple parties here. Do tell. I'm gonna pay six to attempt to cast my commander again. <sighs> We'll play Forceful Denial on your commander. Alright. So be it. Makes you feel blue. And I get to Cascade. For five. How much is the cost of that spell? Five. Okay. Wow. Whoa! Okay. Pure Dane. That could be worse. Put this one on the bottom. And draw. Okay. Breaches was like coming out of his cabin and then somebody just like closes the door on him and he just goes back inside. <laughs> just like, okay. He's just like, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pay two. I'm going to attach the cutlass to the boarding party, making the boarding party a seven, or sorry, an eight, four. And then I will move to combat. I'm going to swing seven trample at John and I'm going to swing eight, four at Tim. The blood debt must be paid. <clears throat> well, I will block with the sanitarium skeleton. No blocks. All right. Before damage. Uh-oh. I'm going to cast uh, Blade Brand <laughs> on my sanitarium skeleton. You Target would. creature gains death touch till end of turn and you draw would. a card. You would. Nice. I did. All right. Stel skeleton dies. And trample, so I take uh, five. I'm at 21. RIP Dargo. All right, um, I will pass the turn. Untap. For four, I will cast Inspiring Roar. And then this will go to two, and this will go to three. With. Uh, this guy's effect, I will pay two. For, for a five mana. For five mana creature. for the staunch throne guard. Ooh. Oh, nice. nice. And when it enters the battlefield, I become the monarch. Yes, the monarch has arrived. <laughs> do, 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 do. I like John's better. Okay, I'm gonna move to combat and I'm going to swing Hamza at John and the Slith Ascendant at uh, Dan. It's a 4-4 in the air. And this is 6-6 six, six on the ground. I'm going to take 4. <sighs> I will take 6. And then I'm going to pass the turn, and on my end step, I will draw a card. Oh, I bet that feels good. Yes, it does. Well, I'm going to untap. Mr. Trigger. I'm going to draw a card. Uh, move to combat oh, with nice. your lock, and I'm going to sw swing at you, Daniel. Yeah. For four damages. Mm hmm. And does the it damage works. get through? It does. All right. Deals four to everybody from Kethis. That is tasty. All right. Second main. I'm going to tap and add three for each of us. Mm hmm. Seven. I'm gonna play a sandstone oracle. Mm, uh, nice. And when it enters the battlefield, choose an opponent. If that player has more cards in hand than you, draw the card. Draw cards equal to the difference. So how many do you got there, Timmy? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Seven. Seven. All right. So I'm at wow. two. So I will be drawing five cards. <laughs> nice. 
You're welcome. That's a fun card. Ooh. It is. I have three mana left. I am going to pay three to cast Vow of Torment. I'm gonna choose Danny again. I'm gonna choose your boy. Actually, oh, you're, you've got your solvent, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, actually, I don't wanna do that. Don't do it. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on your commander, Joe. Okay. So plus two, plus two menace. Good enough. So then passing, so three mana in everybody's pool. On your end step, I'm gonna cast Ancient Animus, putting a 1-1 one, one counter on Emoti and making it fight your little lizard, John. Oh, hey. good, good call. Good night, little lizard friend. Kethis down. And I'm I'll still lose three. one. I'll lose three. All right. Untap. My beautiful disarray of cards over here. <laughs> that turn. is very chaotic. It stresses me out. I'm gonna cast Annoyed Altasar, and it has Cascade, and it will also get Cascade from Emoti. <laughs> So I will be cascading for seven twice. You glorious monster. Aqueous form. Oh, wow. We'll put that on the annoyed Altasar, and then we'll just uh, continue cascading. <laughs> for Reclamation Sage. Oh, nice. Comes out and we will destroy. I would say it's either the the artifact on Dan's board or the Sandstone Oracle, and I think it's probably the artifact on Dan's board. The plus two plus one is better than plus two plus two menace? Well, it is if it's on Joe's side of the table. You can go ahead and get rid of it. All all John's enchantment means is that I have to attack you, Tim, or Dan. I'm going to get rid of the enchantment. If you will leave me a l No, I don't think that's a good deal for me. That you, You're not gonna make a deal with me, are you, Joe? I'll make a deal with you. I'll leave you alone. Leave me alone if I destroy that aura? Yeah, and for a turn. Sure, sure, do it. Get rid of the aura. <laughs> Makes no sense, okay. Hey, I got him to leave me alone. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna play for six. Confiscate, which is going to cascade. Jeez. And I'm going to take John's commander. Yep, I saw that coming. Ambush Viper. Oh my word, that is nasty. I'm just throwing this out there. Tim is a menace right now. And Joe, you agreed not to attack him. Or yeah, mess I'm kind of rethinking that. But we don't break deals on this show. <laughs> Was it like it was only a turn? for one turn? Okay, I'll pass. All right, I'll untap my one pirate. Draw. In terms of Tim shenanigans, um, what's like the nastiest thing? I mean, his commander's obnoxious, his, but his commander or that dinosaur? That dinosaur is pretty gross because it's unblockable. I think I'm gonna. Well, first I'm gonna um, pay six to cast. My other commander, Glacian, Power Stone Engineer. Look, it's a guy. Um, which will just be a 3-6 butt for now. Um, and then I'm going to pay 4 to cast Anthon Mutineer. I'm going to exile the um, dino, Tim. Okay. But you get a 4-3 a Salamander. He's got a sword. Salamander His name's Sally. Sally. His name's Sally. <laughs> I love it. All right, um, that's going to be my turn. I'll pass. Crumony Jimbus. What? Um, I'm going to pass. At the end of my turn, I will draw. Oh, he's still the monarch. Love it. Untap. Draw. I'm going to go six for a Noxious Dragon. And then your dragon will... is stupid, John. <laughs> what? I said your dragon is stupid. Yeah, it is. At this moment in time, I hate it. <laughs> uh, 
gonna pay two for a champion of the flame. It's a 1-1 one -one trample. <laughs> because I've got a lot of auras and equipment over here. I'll pass the turn. Alright, untap. Joe, did you see how tidy this this is over here? I'm proud of you. Thanks. Drawing? I'm not. For six, I'm gonna cast Prying Eyes. But I'm gonna cascade off of that first. For El Isior oh, no. Wardwing Familiar. Uh in response, I'm going to play Ghastly Demise. Um, I'm gonna target your commander and I'm gonna I it's five, so it's more than that. So commander's dead. I draw four cards and discard two. I'll discard two islands. Pay seven to play my commander. <laughs> Return of the value snake. Omen Naga. speaker comes in, I get to scry two. You got to be getting close to the bottom of your deck. You have to be seeing cards I'm twice now. Getting pretty close there. Ooh. That's my deck. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> you are churning through cards. Mill him out. Mill him out. I'm going to pay one to tap your lock. So everybody gets three mana. And tapping an extra blue. I'll cast... Sailor of Means. When he enters a battlefield, I'll get a token of uh, a treasure token that I can sack for mana of any color. So we all have three yeah. mana? Mm -hmm. Correct. I'm going to return the Sanitarium Skeleton from my graveyard to my hand. Good use for that. I thought so. And I'll pass. And I'll lose one life from unspent mana. Right. I'll take three. I will as well. All right, untap, upkeep, draw. Tim is no less scary than last turn. Seriously. Do you remember when we were drafting and I was like, this is going to be hot trash? It is very hot. <laughs> I'm going to pay seven to Encore Trove Tracker. So I'm going to make Super three good. copies of Trove Tracker. John or Joe, will one of you... Block and kill my mutineer. Yeah. Yeah, you want it dead? I want it dead. Oh. It's got Encore, so next turn I can exile three creatures. Yeah, I'll, I can block it. What's its power toughness? A 3-3. Three, three. I'll, I'll kill it. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to swing uh, three at Joe with the mutineer, and then each of you have a 2-2 two, two coming at you. I'll block 2-2 okay. two, two with the noxious dragon. Okay. I will block the 2-2 two, two with this guy, which is a 2-5, and the 3-3 three, three with this guy, which is a 6-6. Six, six. My salamander will s slay your 2-2. Two, two. No. Okay. So uh, I'm going to lose three copies of Trove Tracker, yep. um, and when they die, I will draw a card. So I'm going to draw three cards. Um, my Mutineer is dead, and my Trove Tracker is exiled from when I did Encore. So drawing three. And then I am going to pass the turn. With all that blue mana up. Who, me? Mm hmm. Untap, upkeep, draw. Wow. <laughs> Green. Wow. Ivy Lane Denizen. And three for Meteor Golem. Ooh. Do I target his commander? Yeah, I think we just have to try to tax Price him out, out of, of the it. game. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to target your commander, Tim. Okay. We just have to keep killing it because he's getting more cards if you don't. You got any reach or flying over there, Tim? My little birdie bird. I'm going to move to combat and swing three, uh, seven in the air at you. I'll block the higher powered one with my bird. You will take three, and then I will put a counter on the unblocked uh, siren. Welcome to the bottom. It's not fun here. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I'm going to move to end step, and I will draw a card. Untap. Draw. I'll pay one for a sanitarium skeleton. I'm going to pay one and put a rupture spire down. I'm gonna pay one, two, three, four, five, six for a lore seeker stone. I feel like I need to keep blockers up, but I really would like that card, Joe. If I just come at you with a one, one, will you uh, just block. let it? Yeah, you let, it, let through? it through. Okay. Yeah. For the monarch. Okay, sounds good. So I will come at you with champion of the flame for one. Uh, no blocks. All right. That's so sweet. And then I will become the monarch. Pass to turn and step. Draw a card. All right. Untap. Daniel, how many cards do you have in hand? I've got uh, four in hand. And you've got blue mana up? Yeah, my command is for my island, yeah. Why? What's up? Oh, I'm just wondering if you have a counter spell. Oh, I see, all. I see. I've got a counter spell. Yeah, I'm sure Joe has one. <laughs> Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Attempting to cast. Emoti. <laughs> I got nothing. You are All doomed. Right. Doesn't work. Haunted Cloak. Trample Vigilance Haste? Yep. Equipped cost of one. <clears throat> For six, I'll cast Fin Clade Fugitives. Oh has Encore. And I'll uh, cascade. Who's got uh, the board wipe? Oh my word. Oh my goodness. Ancient Animus. Why do I want to kill your meteor golem? No reason. Because <laughs> you want to bring it back? A little bit. <laughs> Daniel, what are your two guys? Uh, a three six, and a an eight uh, four. Ambush Viper is gonna attack your higher powered one. It's got death touch. Very nice. Yep. All right, boarding party is gonna die. Woof. Very nice. I'm gonna sack my treasure to generate a generic mana to tap your lock to give everybody three mana. And then I'll uh, equip Haunted Cloak to the Fugitives, giving it haste. And then I'll use the other two to play Sky Diamond tapped. And then I'll swing. Before combat, we'll take the damage. Yeah, so I'll yeah, go down sorry. to nine. You're going down to nine. I'm going to 25. I'm going to 14. Uh, we'll just go ahead and swing at Daniel. At me? Has... Yeah, I want to do some damage over here. Interesting. I have twelve. I have some. I have some commander damage to repay you for. Okay, and it has trample. It's a seven four with trample. Ah, perfect. I'm gonna block with Glacian. Okay. And before damage, I will tap Glacian, and I will tap my Cutlass, my Commander Sphere, and my Fire Diamond to look at the top three cards of my library. And I'll put one into my hand and two into my graveyard. So this is going into my hand, and a mountain, and a mountain into my graveyard. And then the damage will connect. Glacian will die. And I will take one. Go to 13. My turn's complete. All right. I'll keep draw. Oh, yeah. I'm going to pay eight mana to cast a Maelstrom Colossus. Nice. Sakashima's protege. Nice. Wait, who's who's playing the Cascade deck here? Yeah. I'm offended. <laughs> so uh, Sakashima, when I cast her, I'm going to Cascade, and she's a 6 CMC. Uh, Crimson Fleet Commodore. When it enters the battlefield, I become the monarch. Um, All right, Eden. Yes. You guys sure you want to come after me? I'm no, Look at that board state I'm over no there. I'm no longer the monarch. 
Uh, so, Protégé has to copy the Commodore. So much cascation. And then um, I'm going to pay three. All this dish detergent. To cast Coastline Marauders. Well, that's a bungalow. Ooh. I like that. Does it have haste? Wow. It does not. Hmm. It might have Encore, though. <laughs> um, and then I will pass the turn. You're the monarch, sir. I am, aren't I? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice. That's perfect. I'm gonna draw a card at my answer. Cool. I will draw. I will pay three for the Kinsbane Courier. Actually, I'll pay one. I know how my cards work. And when it enters the battlefield, I put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. You don't have to kill me, Joe. All right, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to put the plus one, plus one counter from Kinsbale Courier on the Slith Advocate, the Slith Ascendant, the Slith Dingus. I'm going to move to combat, right. and I'm going to swing five at Tim, four at Daniel. All right. Okay. You're going to go to nine, and you become the monarch, Joe. Here's this. You want to take this? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. And then I'll pass the turn and draw. Uh, sorry, I forgot. When I did damage, um, both of these will go up another counter. Sorry about that. Untap. Upkeep. Hey, John, let's make a deal. What's the deal? Don't kill me. Or? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> it's, you're the... You're the... Uh, I'm going to draw before anything. <sighs> All right. Tim. Yeah. You want to live? I mean, people don't usually want to die in this game. Let's. So, would it be fair just to do a one turn deal then, Tim? Sure. Just one turn? Okay. I won't attack you or destroy any of your stuff this turn if you don't attack me or destroy any of my stuff this, this turn. Deal. Okay. Um, I'm going to pay green, green for a wild heart invoker. Ooh. Uh oh. And pay one, two for another champion of the flame. And then I have one card left in hand, and I will pass the turn. Untap. This is an interesting game. Indeed. Gonna draw for turn. For three. I'll play Wild Size, targeting Finclade Fugitives. It's going to get plus two, plus two, and trample till the end of the turn, and then I'm going to draw a card. Murder me! Yes, do it! What do we got going on? See, the thing is, I could kill either one of you right now. Yes. You get to be the monarch if you kill me. Sorry, Joe. No, no, it's... Do what you need to. I'm going to pay a blue for Aqueous Form. Oh. Wow. Nice. Yeah, nice. Swing it, Joe, for nine. And I get to scry. Ooh, nasty. That's going to the bottom. I have no blocks. I can do nothing. I will take nine, and it's been real. It's been fun, but it has not been real fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you real fun. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do another. Oh, please, not again. And I get to be the monarch. Woohoo! I will pass the turn, and since I'm the monarch, I get to draw a card. Nice. Upkeep draw. And wow. This is horrifying, a horrifying sight. Um, let's see. I'm going to pay six to use Amphin Mutineer's Encore ability. Um, so I'm going to make two exile it and make two copies of it. 
I'm gonna exile Tim's um, elf monstrosity. This guy? Yeah. I'm gonna exile your um, wildwood thing, invoker, actually. Wildheart invoker? Yeah, yep. I think I have to Ooh, do that. That's a good choice. I think I have to do that. And I get a salamander? You do, yeah, you both get a salamander. I both get a yep. I get another Sally? Yeah. I will move to combat. And the two um, token, salamander tokens, are gonna one's gonna attack each of you, so it's just a 3 3 coming at you. I will block with the Noxious Dragon. I'll block with my Sailor of Means. It's a 1 4. All right. So one of them will die and one of them's alive for the moment. I'm gonna pay two in my second main phase to cast another Fire Diamond, which is gonna be tapped. And then I'm gonna sacrifice the Commander Sphere to draw a card. Then I'm gonna pay four to cast another Crimson Fleet Commodore, making me the Monarch. Hey. Um, I'm gonna move to my end step. My token, remaining token will get exiled. And then I'm gonna draw a card for my Monarchness. I don't see a crown on your head, Daniel. Oh, <laughs> cool. Take me a moment. That's better. <laughs> um, end of your turn. I'm gonna pay four. Tap Lore Seeker, Seeker's Stone. I have one card in hand, so it costs one extra. And I'll draw three cards. Maybe I should have used Universal Universal Solvent on that thing. Yeah. Draw for turn. And how many cards does everyone have in hand? I have two. Five. Five, two, okay. I think, oh my gosh. I think I can do this. Okay, let me think for a second. This is so convoluted. Okay, so I'm gonna do one, two, three. I'm gonna cast Murder on your lock. Okay. And he will go to my graveyard. One, two, three for a victimize. So I choose two target creature cards in my graveyard. Uh, your lock and Kethis. I'm gonna sacrifice my elf. I'm gonna return these to the battlefield tapped. Move to combat. I'm going to swing Sandstone Oracle in the air at Daniel. Uh, no blocks. And then I'll play two for an Elvish Doomsayer. When it dies, each opponent discards a card. And then I'm going to pay three for a Haunted Cloak. I have one card in hand, and I'm super tapped out, and that was, like, the stupidest turn. All right. You did get the Monarch, though, so. So, end of turn, draw a card. Daniel, I feel like we need to whittle John down a little bit. Yeah, John's uh, robust. But not robust enough to deal with every single one of y'all's creatures. So your, your Noxious Dragon says when it dies it kills something with a converted mana cost of three or less yep i think i'm gonna get rid of that seven sacking destroyed noxious dragon so dragon dies and what does the non-omen speaker do this does nothing it's a one four that made a treasure and wreck sage and danny what does your little red boy do um, it's an O3 Champler. When it attacks, it gets plus one, plus O for each land. Oh, yeah. Like That's the one I'm going to choose. <laughs> okay. That's probably a good yeah. choice. All right. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that one. Yeah, we all did. Daniel was hoping that would happen. Yep. That we would all forget. <laughs> forget wise. Okay. Uh, untapping. Drawing. I'm going to cast for six Elegeth. Crossroads Augur, it's gonna cascade off my commander. Sure will. Oh, he's got one of those too. Oh yes. Oh, he did that's, it. That's wow. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I cascaded into Siani. 
the card I put this in to pair with. So they're going to work together real nice. Um, we're going to equip Vigilant, or it gets haste. With haste. Oh. oh, man. Leaving you alive was really a bad deal for me. I could kill Daniel right now, though. Yeah, I suppose. If I put this on here instead. I do need to draw cards, though. John, coming at you with that little duder flying. 3-2. All right, I'll take three. 22. I get the monarch. When he attacks, she. I get to scry X, where X is the number of attacking creatures, which is one. And because of him, I get to draw a card instead. So I'll draw a card. I'll pass the turn. And draw a card due to monarch. Nice. Untap. Draw. Okay. Uh, I guess for starters, I'm going to pay six to encore the coastline marauders. So I've got two of those, and they have to attack. How many lands do you have, John? Four or five, seven. Uh, a lot. 12. 10. I still can't kill John. He's too strong. Combat. I'm just gonna swing my token copies at you guys. So, 10 at John. And then however many, Tim, your land again. Sorry. 11? 9, 10, 11. 11 at you, Trample. 10 at you, John, Trample. <sighs> I feel like there could be shenanigans. I just don't feel safe at all. <sighs> I'm going to just take the 10. <sighs> Ooh. I'll block 4, 7, all of it. Okay. So I'll lose three creatures, or four creatures. Okay. Then second main, I'm going to pay a blue to cast the Siren Stormcaller. It's a 1-1 one, one flying pirate wizard. I'm going to pay two more for the Humble Defector. And three more for the Lightning Rig Crew, which is an 0-5. I will pass finally. Good. Uh, untap, draw, okay, I'm going to pay five, because I have two cards in hand, and tap Lore Seeker Stone to draw three cards. So many cards. Okay, I'm going to pay one, tap this guy for three mana. Then four, five. And I'm going to cast a Burning Anger mm. on my dinosaur. And there's just no way I can get him to five power. So then I'm going to move to combat and the mana that your lock added to your pools, drains. Yep. Draining away, going down to two. I'm to five. So I'm not gonna attack. I'm gonna pay one to cast the Impulsive Pilferer. When it dies, create a treasure token. I'm going to pass the turn. I feel like I have an Aether Flux Reservoir point in my face. It's exactly right. what it's like. Untapping. Drawing. Oh my gosh. I realized this at the end of last turn. I should have waited. I'm going to pay two to tap this to scry one, which I will draw a card instead. Oh, nice. I'm going to pay five for Prosperous Pirates. Comes in with two treasure tokens. Nice. Okay. And there's another blocker. Can you dig yourself out of this? I spend a green to move the haunted cloak over to El Elgath. And I'll swing just that one at Daniel. <gasps> oh, it's trample too. Well you need that card draw. That's fair. Um Yeah, I can't really do anything. 
I can block with one. And then... I will die. Yes, you will die. Then die again! Let's do another! That is not how I foresaw that happening. That's all I got. I get to draw a card on my end step. Well, at the end of your turn, uh, I'm going to tap him and deal four to you. Oh, and then you just do it at the upkeep. I'm dead. Yes! Please, sir, have some more. Finally! A torture-free night. Indeed. But before you go, you simply must try some of the Wheelmaster's holiday drool. Uh, no thanks. No, make no mistake. This is not a request. Good idea. To tell you the truth, not really. These ten months of social distancing have really done a number on my mental health, and the holidays just remind me of how miserable I am. It is truth. Webcam EDH is starting to hurt my eyes, and torches aren't as fun as they used to be. No thanks. Nothing sounds good right now. No, I can't resist your charm. Hold it down the chute. Mm. 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 Oh, yes, that's... That's pretty good. I say, almost, almost delightful. Uh, uh, Wheelmaster, it, it seems to grow more wonderful by the moment. I can taste all sorts of flavors. Pineapple, salad, uh, and rainbows. What's in this delightfulness? I'm having feelings. I never have feelings. I'm thankful <laughs> for all the jank we were able to witness this year, despite our isolation and and all those tortures we inflicted. <laughs> and now I'm, I'm excited for the future 
and all the jank that it might contain. I suppose I can stomach the holidays this year, Wheelmaster, even though they do suck. For I know this will not last forever. Chubarco es tu transporto. Yes, old friend. Let us take heart in our trial, for the future looks merry and blight. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 